CBO numbers out today indicate that the deficit will be much larger than expected and that the White House had anticipated, um, and that over the course of time, it, it would be a 4 to 5 percent of GDP. So mm -hmm. at this point, it's 4 to 5 percent sustainable, and it, does this give the White House an inclination to consider raising taxes or uh, scaling back the agenda? Well, uh, the premise by which the President constructed uh, the budget sent to Capitol Hill uh, was, uh, as I've said repeatedly from here, to cut in half uh, the inherited budget deficit over the course of his first term and to make critical investments in health care, energy independence, and education reform in order to make critical investments in our long-term economic growth. Um, None of the numbers today changed the President's either objectives or his ability to achieve that deficit reduction. But I go back, is 4 to 5 percent of GDP sustainable? Well, you know, I, I think the President's budget uh, presents a number that is less than that. Um, again, there's, and you all have covered this over the years, the pretty large difference uh, on occasion between CBO and OMB. Uh, I believe that just in looking at the growth numbers and the GDP, you have basically a plus or minus $900 billion swing uh, because the, the, the numbers at CBO represent about a 50 percent, there's a 50 percent likelihood that they'll be different, uh, up or down. So. They don't change the President's long-term objectives. Uh, and most importantly, the President has outlined a plan to bring fiscal responsibility and fiscal sustainability uh, to a town that hasn't seen it for quite some time. 